I remember being very little sitting in my parents' car and I'd often look at the houses we drove past. I, f I found myself wondering what it was like to live in those houses and it was sort of a strange feeling like that building, well it was just a building to me but for someone it was a home, it was you know somewhere with an emotional connection, it was there was memories there and all this sort of stuff and I and I almost visualized being someone that lived there and walking up the drive and imagining what it was like to be the family or the people that lived there and I don't really know why I did it but I think it was an intrigue into other people's lives at a very young age. I think that initial spark of intrigue into other people's lives has sort of developed as I've gotten older and now I want to sort of find out more about why people think the way they do and what people's lives are like that are completely different to mine and their philosophies and just to really try and understand why humans are like they are. Growing up in my bubble, I suppose everyone does in some degree, just lives amongst you know people they feel comfortable with. And it's sort of led me to have this desire to really want to get outside of that and know what the other 99% of humans on the world are like, as well as just people that I tend to spend time with. It's just under two weeks now till I make the move to Kathmandu in Nepal. Uh, I'm currently based just south of Manchester in England and I can assure you the weather isn't usually as good as you've seen on this video so far. It doesn't usually either snow properly or have bright blue skies. I thought before I'd go and start making films in Nepal I'd show a little bit about what I do here. I basically work five days a week like normal people. Today I'm working with my brother Sam, so I'll head over to his. Definitely say the biggest disadvantage to a job like this is that on these rare sunny days I have to work inside looking at a laptop screen all day. I'm just on my lunch break now, uh, done about two or three hours work and I don't usually do this but I thought I'd take the opportunity to walk up a sort of a little local hill near where my brother lives and make the most of both the English countryside and the nice weather while I've still got it. To be honest, I'm kind of glad that I put that down to try and film me going up there because if I'd taken this, then this would just be covered in mud. But it's alright, so we're all good. We're all good. Over the next 18 to 24 months, I'm going to be travelling solo and I'm going to be meeting and living with local people in each place I go. The documentaries I end up making out there, I want to film from the locals' perspective rather than from my opinion of their culture or their, their livelihood. It's funny because I'm naturally a very introverted person. In conversations and discussions, I often find myself being 
an observer rather than being really involved in the discussion. And I think it's an insecurity in some ways to put my opinions out there. It's going to get me out of my comfort zone, but I'm really looking forward to making these films, but also really help immerse people in these cultures. These vlogs and sit down videos are going to be a diary of sorts of me trying to achieve this documentary project and also my journey trying to fit in and, and live in these cultures that are completely different to my own, which I am really excited about. That's the end of the work day. I think I managed to get a reasonable amount done, which is good. This video is going to be the first of a sort of five part series initially of the process of me moving to Nepal and just trying to settle in there. Nepal is a country that I've wanted to visit for at least 10 years and I've wanted to visit Asia for as long as I can remember. So whatever happens, I think it's going to be a great experience. I hope you enjoyed this first video. I'm going to try and upload this initial five-part series weekly, so hopefully I'll see you next week.